Well, during the month of November, the home care and hospice community honor the millions of nurses and aides who provide care for the patients and the families they serve. In tonight's Living Well report, our Claire Kreitz highlights how Baptist Health's home hospice care has impacted one family right here in Arkansas. It's a knock at the door. Hey, Mr. Henry. It's Bully Sarah. Henry waits for week after How week. I got a pretty good view and I pick them up before they get to the door. Baptist Health nurse practitioner Danielle Weissar is here to Have take vitals. To I'm going to take your blood pressure. Is that okay? I'd be fine. And do a full head-to-toe assessment. So we're looking at skin. We're looking at lung sounds. We're checking if there's any open areas on their body. Does that sound good to you? Henry remembers the first okay. time these in-home hospice care nurses walked through his door. I was told I had seven or ten days to live. That was two years ago. Everything a sick person needs, they got an answer for it. And they've just been very good to me. From stocking pills to checking symptoms. Awesome. Are you having any pain at all? It's all about keeping Henry comfortable in his own home. I got a little garden there, and then I got to uh, keep bird feed and, and watch the birds eat. And it's just much more enjoyable being here. But along with the medical side of the job. My little boy's doing just fine, being ornery. These nurses have also become like family. Do they know their kid's name, where they live. For Henry, he credits the big man upstairs for turning 10 days into two years. I know he's had a lot to do with it, but he, he needs help doing stuff, you know. But says it also could not be done without the angels dressed in scrubs. For somebody to come in and just wash you and clean you up and give you medicine and, and check you over, it's just great having somebody like that. It's about the, about the only thing I know I got going for me. You stay strong, Henry. That was Claire Kreitz reporting. Uh, we, it's worth noting that anyone with six months or less to live actually qualifies for hospice care.